Alright guys, how are you today? You know what, you don't have to answer that, because this is a recording. Anyways, on another note, Gary's Mod. It's a fun game, as long as you don't have those uh, missing textures. Those big red errors, the purple and black textures. I mean, you can't even see the sky for Pete's sake. That's, uh, it's terrible. Now, you've probably heard people be like, oh, you need to see a Counter-Strike Source or CSS, which is the same thing. And the answer to that is, you do. Because Gary's Mod gets all of its textures from other games. But, however, it already gives you Half-Life 2 textures. Very convenient. Now then, basically, we're going to do that same thing, but we're going to do it with CSS. So that's why it's legal, is because you aren't actually getting the game, just the textures. Okay, so don't think we're going around breaking the law or something, because it's legal and it's necessary if you want to enjoy the game more than that. So I have a link in the description below. It's just simpler way of doing it. I'm, I compressed it into a RAR so you guys could download it faster. Okay, so I could download it in, well, roughly that time, 9, 10 minutes, 8. Can't make up its mind. Anyways, it's not huge, but it's not very small either. Now then, there's another link that other videos use. That'll also be in the description below. However, I'm not going to use that. If you want to find it, go to the Mediafire link, because that's faster, in my opinion. Here's an ad. Okay. And once you do do that, you'll get this. You'll get CSS content add-on December 2013. Now then, this is, well right now it's 2014, however, this is still the same procedure. I don't know when you're watching this and how much Gary's Mod has been updated or changed, so it might be different. If it does update, check out my other videos. Uh, I might have another one for it, maybe. We'll see. However, here's the other website right here that I was talking about. Okay, so you should have one folder, but when you open it, you have several and an add-on.txt. Okay, so you have your materials, models, particles, scripts, sound. You don't mess with any of those, mainly because we are just going to put just drag and drop this into a specific file location. Let me show you. So you're gonna want this over there for now anyways. You're gonna want to go to your computer, your C drive, your operating system, go to program files times 86, scroll down to S and find Steam, Steam apps, common, Gary's mod, Gary's mod, at the very top you'll see add-ons. That's where we're going to put it. You'll see, I already have it. I don't actually need it. I don't know why I have it. I have the game installed. So, I guess I don't really need it, but still. Okay, so you just drag and drop it. It's just basically extracting this. Uh, last time I did it, it took about three minutes. I mean, so, yeah. It's not the smallest file in the world, that's for sure. But um, what, once you get that, you'll just restart Gmod. And this is mainly for more for like maps. You'll be able to see the sky, it just won't repeat the ground. You, A lot of the errors will be gone, a lot of the purple and black checkerboard will be replaced with actual textures. However, do not get me confused. However, if you were to download an add-on or join a server and their items don't have it, that's their fault. That's nothing to do with CSS. Okay, or if uh, you download an add-on and you can't see it, unless you know what you're doing, there's nothing you can do about it unless if they fix it. There's no game you can download or anything. So, but other than that, this will fix most of it. I'd say like 95% of the errors you're getting, yeah, 
it's really necessary. So this is the free version without actually getting the game, just simply dragging and dropping a file that you downloaded. Uh, that's it for now. If there's an update, I will try to get back on you with that. And uh, thanks for watching.